Hello fellow travelers, this is William and Tara and we are the 518 Travelers coming to you from beautiful Cohoes, New York, which is just a stone's throw north of the capital of Albany. And Tara and I both want to thank you for checking out our channel and for watching this vlog. In today's vlog we are going to do a review on Peebles Island State Park, which is a, a small sized state park on an island in between the city of Cohoes and Waterford, New York. Overall, it's a really nice park, uh, very clean, some really nice amenities, very good trails, and overall, we, we graded it a 4.9 out of 5. In part 1 of 3, you can see some pictures of the picnic area here. Uh, it's actually very, very clean, very nice area to picnic at. Um, there is no camping, uh, unfortunately, very small park. Uh, there is a pavilion that you can uh, use for parties. There's an overlook on the Hudson River as well. Uh, here's a map uh, of the park, but I'm going to put a link uh, for the website for in the description below. At the beginning of the trailhead, the rules are clearly marked. And a great thing is there's uh, pet waste stations uh, in a couple of places around the park. So pet waste on the trails itself is not a problem here at Peebles Island. The trail directions are clearly marked and also they took it as another opportunity to be able to list the rules of the park. Once you get on the trails, they are clearly marked. This park did a really, really excellent job of marking the trails. Unfortunately, there are some issues with the park, like right here. This really should be fixed. Figure out something for this. I don't know what it would cost or whatever, but this is really kind of treacherous with this spot right here. So there's lots of really nice uh, little uh, benches for people to sit on. It's very pretty here and it's very well kept. Um, this is about part of the perimeter trail, probably about halfway through our walk. And as you can see with the water on the outside, it's actually really, really pretty here. Sometimes we come over here, we've seen eagles here, uh, all sorts of different types of birds, crane. And we saw yep. a crane here once. Mm -hmm. So, you know, it's very pretty, it's very peaceful here. And we like to come here uh, after work just to kind of unwind and, and get rid of some stress. So, so far, the Deer Run Trail looks really, really good. Um, it's not overgrown, doesn't have tons of tree roots going through. It's a pretty, pretty easy walk so far. We've been walking through this for a couple of minutes already. Uh, there's a slight hill up here, but, but uh, overall, it's a, actually a pretty good uh, little trail. Yeah, so far, uh, the trail itself looks uh, really easy and manageable to walk. Like I said earlier, uh, it's void of uh, tree stumps and roots and rocks. So the final trail that we're going on is called Fire Road Trail. It's 0.66 miles long. So again, it's another short one for those who just want a little stroll in the evening. It's a connector trail from one end of the perimeter to the other, and there's other trails that actually hit it. Uh, what trail did we just come up through, honey, that we hit that off of? We that... just came off of Deer Run. Deer Run, yeah, and we hit this trail. So they're, you know, they're all pretty connected, so it can actually make your 
um, your hiking trail longer, you're going to make it much shorter. So, so far in looking at it, it looks like it's a pretty easy trail, but uh, we'll definitely report back as we walk it. Hi guys, we just finished Fire Road Trail. Again, that 0.66 mile trail. It was very enjoyable, very easy trail. I do think you could manage to get a stroller on this trail. There's about 10 feet that might be a little tricky, but the rest is very even, you know, very nice smooth trail. Yeah, overall it was really, really nice and very, very clean. Like we said, there's no trash on this. People definitely pick up after themselves. Uh, it, again, it's void of tree roots and rocks. And there was connector trail that went across uh, probably about 25, 30 feet back there. And a lot of people went uh, walking through there. So um, this trail right here, pretty much was the most enjoyable trail that that uh, we walked that we've taken here yeah it's just short that's all yeah and very easy and manageable yeah <laughs> there's another baby yeah they have no problem whatsoever coming out where people are which is great and we actually see people that bring uh, and leave like apples and things like that for the deer and you know they could get a little skittish but Lots of times it's just like this. We'll just be walking up a trail and, and uh, we'll just run right into a deer. As a matter of fact, 10 seconds before we saw this one, I said to my wife, That'd be, this would be a really nice spot if we had a deer come up on the trail. And uh, we ran right into this one right here. So there you have it. There's our uh, our review of People's Island State Park. Again, overall a 4.9 out of 5. I would love to have given it a 5, but the issue is that little washed out area on that perimeter trail right there really should be taped off and, and they should really should do something with that. And even if they, they can't do anything with it right away, they could actually, you know, make the trail and make people go around that more. Other than that, the other trails, the Deer Run, the Fire Road, Owls, um, the Owls Run or whatever that was called up there actually. Those were really, really easy trails. It's just a perimeter one that, that was that was difficult. It was very clean. Yeah, so there's one longer trail, the perimeter trail, which is two miles, and then there's three shorter ones that are less than a mile, which is nice because if you take off to do the perimeter for two miles and then you get tired part way through, you can cut through those one of those connectors to shorten your trail if Mother Nature calls or you get tired <laughs> yeah, yeah, or whatever. Yeah. And then on the opposite end, if you do the perimeter and you're just not done for the day, you want to do more, you could do another one of those less than one mile hikes and not exhaust yourself. Right. And Mother Nature seems to call you quite a bit. So, yes. yeah. So we <laughs> Mother Nature calls bathroom. me all the time. Yeah. Thank God there's yeah. a bathroom here <laughs> yeah. before you go in. So, yay. Yes, there is. And, and a beautiful picnic area. And like I said, it's extremely clean. A lot of wildlife. You saw definitely uh, lots of pictures and video of the deer and how tame they are with just a minute ago. We saw a gopher that uh, ran over into the uh, bushes over there. So, right. and, and, and it, another baby deer who we got like this close to yeah. coming. One of these days, one's going to come to me, and I'm really going to touch them yes, and them and yes, love them. Yes, you are. And right behind us, right between me and Terry, you can see that's Waterford over there where the Erie Canal lock is, and there's boats actually tied up over there right now and they have something called the canal fest every year that you can go over there and you know they have vendors and all sorts of water mm -hmm. rides and stuff like that going on usually early on in the spring so again listen if you like this video please go ahead and hit the like button um if you have any comments uh please put those comments in make sure they're clean this is a family channel that tara and i are putting together and if you would subscribe that would be great because we're not just putting these videos together just for our family or close friends we want people to be able to actually look at the things that that we've reviewed and see if they'd like to try them out yeah and this by far is one of our favorite places to go we come here at least twice a week if not more depending on the weather and the time so please like us yes i would say all right thanks so much bye I love you though.